But in reality, this world is not as confusing as you think. It's not as confusing as you think. Some people just think, oh, there's so many different religions, I'm confused. It's really not that confusing. Let me just break it down to you. First of all, understand that there are today approximately 7.4 billion people in the world. So there are 7.4 billion people in this world. And out of those 7.4 billion people, 2.3 billion of them claim to believe in Jesus as their savior. They would say, I believe that Jesus is my savior. Now, obviously, this encompasses all branches and all types of Christianity, a lot of which is a false teaching and a lot of it's a counterfeit. And I'm not getting into that. I'm just saying people who would claim the name of Christ. Therefore, Christianity, quote unquote, is considered the largest religion in the world. 2.3 billion people. The, the second largest of the organized major world religions would be Islam with 1.6 billion people which would make about 22%, okay? Then we have Hinduism with 1.1 billion people, which is about 15% of this world. Then we go to Buddhism, which has about a half of a billion or 500 million adherents, or about 6% of the world's population. Now here's the thing, once you go past Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism, the numbers drop dramatically. Yeah, true. Okay, true. The, the fifth organized religion is Sikhism, which has only 26 million adherents. And even though 26 million people is a lot of people, it's less than a half a percent of the world's population. Less than half a percent. So it's a very tiny minority of people in this world. And then if we go to Judaism, I mean, it's not even in the running. It's one fifth of one percent even though it's front and center on google as being a major religion you know right there in the middle it's actually one fifth of one percent and then you know you go beyond that it, it gets even tinier baha'i you're down to like six million people or less than one tenth of a percent i mean it's just minuscule so really major religions that actually have followers all over the world or a large number of followers you really could narrow it down to five big religions. You know, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Sikhism. And Sikhism's much smaller. And so these five right here, these are your top five that are even close to being, you know, 1% or more of people that even follow these religions. So there's not just all the, oh, it's just thousands of religions, hundreds of, I'm so confused. No, no, no. You've got five major world religions, okay? But here's the thing, you can simplify it even further than that. Because of the fact that these three, Hinduism, Buddhism, and Sikhism, are, are almost the same. They're all spin-offs of Hinduism. You know, they're all involving reincarnation, the cycle of death and rebirth, transcendental meditation, cremating the dead instead of burying them. You know, those three have a lot in common. And they're just variations or spin-offs of Hinduism. And then if you take the first two, Christianity and Islam, you have to understand Islam is just a perversion of Christianity. All it is is a guy who came along and said, oh, I'm following in the footsteps of Jesus Christ, except I'm the next prophet. And you guys got Jesus' message wrong, and so I'm going to come and bring a greater revelation. It's just a cult or spinoff from Christianity, much like Mormonism. So it's really not that complicated whether you're pretty much going to follow Hinduism or its spinoffs, or Christianity and its spinoffs. And then once you look at Christianity, it shouldn't be that hard to figure out who's actually believing the Bible. And who's just putting on a funny hat and sprinkling poofu <laughs> dust everywhere and going through a bunch of weird traditions and rituals that have no basis in the Bible. It's not that hard to figure out, folks. And the Bible says, ask and you shall receive. It says, seek and you'll find. Knock and it shall be open unto you. Everyone that asketh, receive it. Everyone that seeketh, find it. Everyone that knocketh to him, it shall be opened. Amen. And so Amen. this world is not as complicated of a place as the uh, as the atheists or the world would want you to think it is really it's pretty simple there's our rock and then there's their rock Amen. and when you actually hold our rock up against their rock you will see that their rock is not as our rock 